What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today, we're going to be checking out the Viair TLC Plus. It's going to be a 120 PSI compressor. It's portable. You can hook up to your battery and air up your tires. Let's check it out. It's going to be a portable air compressor, so it's going to be perfect to have with you in your car at all times. It just hooks up to the battery, and you can either inflate your vehicle tires or your bike tires, which is going to be really helpful when you're at the trails. You might need to even deflate. You can do that with a push of a button to get some air out of there. If it's that terrain where that's what you need to set your PSI at, that's what you can do. To power your compressor, there's two different ways you can do this. You've got the alligator clips that clip on there, clip right onto the battery, or you can permanently mount the quick connect. That's a good option as well, so you just have it ready to go. This cord will just be hanging out. You can just plug this end right here to the compressor. That's the same way the alligator clips plug in. So you can plug those in instead. So you'd be leaving this in here all the time, ready to go to plug in. Not a bad solution because the alligator clips don't grip on super tight. That was the one thing I was a little iffy on. They go on there just fine. I have a side post mount on mine. So we'll go negative here positive there that one had more to grip onto this one it's going to stay there but if you tapped it it might fall off bringing the compressor towards the back of the vehicle we do have 12 feet of cord that's a lot of cord i like that especially if you're plugging into the battery up front the battery in the front of the vehicle is in a different position on every vehicle so it's nice to make it all the way back here and still have the 30 feet of air hose to work with so we're going to make that attachment right here it's just a quick connector so pull back on there push it in let go it's locked into place. Now we're gonna connect the air gauge, same way the quick connector, push that in there, let go. Same thing with the last portion. This is the portion that's gonna to attach to the tire. So it's another air hose, goes in there. Now this one looks a little bit different, but you still pull this down, push it in, let go, and it's attached. So it does go pretty quick just to set it all up and get ready to inflate your tire. Now we're gonna hook this up to our bike tire. It's gonna be a Schrader valve. So it's your standard kind as I turn this top portion to get it threaded. It's gonna let a little air out. Not much though, you'll hear it. Right there. And a couple more turns and it's now made that connection. With it attached, you can see the reading. We're gonna have 20 PSI in the tire. I can let some of that out by hitting the bleeder valve. Lower it quite a bit to adjust for whatever the trail, but then if I need to put some back on, that's gonna be easy, just gonna be pulling this trigger, but first, let's fire up the compressor. Now to turn on the compressor, we're gonna hit the switch here on the side. Right now the tank is drained, so it's gonna run and fill up and then stop. See, it's not that loud, sound level is pretty good. Even with those rubber stops underneath, there wasn't a lot of vibrating or movement. It shifted there when it shut off, but it didn't stay on very long. It'll stay on long if the more air you need to use, it'll kick on when we go back over there to the bike tire. Now I only want to go up a little bit, so I'm just hitting the trigger a few times. If you're going up, up, up quite more, you just hold the trigger down. So that was the road bike tire, we'll fill that up. We're right, I want it right there at 20, so we're just gonna keep it there, but really easy to do. I like how I can wash this gauge and keep it exactly where I want it. Another nice thing about this compressor, it's gonna be great for seating tubeless tires. So instead of using an air pump that just pushes a little bit of air at once, it can be hard to rotate the tire and seat the tire. With this, it's gonna charge up to 120 PSI in the compressor, so you can blast that in there, seat the tire, and be good to go. These are some of the other attachments that it comes with. I like that it is included with the compressor. Now some of the other Vi Air compressors have spots on there to clip them in. These are just gonna be loose. That comes with a bag that you can put them in there to keep them all together. So I would just get that little plastic bag, put them in there, and then just store them in the big bag. Now I'll switch out attachments here so we can use it on a Presta Valve road bike. So this is gonna be the attachment that comes with it. I'm glad it's included. You don't have to buy it separately if you have different bikes. You have the different road bike versus the mountain bike. Connect the same way, just push it down into place. It locks in. We'll go over to our Presta Valve, loosen that up so it accepts some air. Now we're going to push it down on the Presta Valve, get an accurate reading. You see how I didn't detect anything yet. Now push down on it. We're about 10, so we're going to get back up to about 80. Fills up pretty quick. As it gets closer, I'm just going to tap the trigger. We want too much in there. And if I went over, like I did there, just hit the bleeder valve to back it off just a little bit. It's going to be good right there. 
Now you do get a carrying case with this as well. So I like that everything can be put together. So I just kind of wrap the cords in, tuck them underneath the handle. That way you don't have a zip tie on you all the time. You got the alligator clips fit right in there too. Now, if you're not going to use this mounting, it's not mounted in your engine bay. It fits in there as well. You got the hose and then this section is going to be good for the 30 foot hose and the gauge. It's nice that it's coiled. That way you don't have to wrap that up like you do the other cords. It stays all together. You just drop it in. And then with the gauge being the last thing, it's all contained. The carrying case makes it really easy to carry around. The handle on the top feels pretty sturdy. You got the double stitching up there, so don't have to worry about it ripping off. It's way better than an old compressor I had that just had a box. You put it in the box and that just gets broken down over time. And it would just come out of the box would be the core we'd be hanging out take it out you see that i don't have a lot of space back here in the back of my vehicle so i like that it's all contained here i can put it underneath in this compartment or one of the side compartments up there and it'd be out of the way i like that it's all together i like this air pump overall compared to some other ones like i had an older one that was made out of plastic i plug that in it would go in the 12 volt outlet it would just rattle around on the outside and make a bunch of noise. It took forever to air up the tires. I wouldn't use that on my bike either because I couldn't regulate it. didn't have a gauge built in. So then I'd be swapping out accessories all the time just to see where my tire is at. This makes it so much easier just to hook it up to the battery. You have all that length of cord to bring it back here. I can even check my bike tires while I have it out, check my vehicle tires, look at that gauge, get everything exactly where I want it to, then put it all away and store it back here when I'm done. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.